Hi friends, it's Susan Smith from Stamp Creatively and I have new product. Product that you can't, if you're a demonstrator, this won't be available till May, but I have it because I did on stage after hours. Stampin' Up! did something different at our event this year. They did what was called on stage after hours and you got to choose from three different stamp sets the one with the fruit, this one, and then the one I got. And then what they did was they gave us three sketches and then showed us what we could do with our stamp set. So then they had these little PDF flyer things. This is my stamp set, Spotlight on Nature. And that's what they told us we could do. I didn't stay to do it. We had um, other commitments, but I wanted the brochure and I wanted the stamp set because I wanted to see how Stampin' Up! was going to set up a class. So I have my in colors, Shy Shamrock, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Summer Splash, and Peach Pie. And I have my dies and my Spotlight in Nature. So I did some projects with my team with it, and then I wanted to show you the dies, here's all these circle dies. And they do different things. You know, like this one has the little flower pattern and then there's a little hashtag pattern and then there's texturing the outside. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve dies. Okay, part of the bundle. I'm going to use these two. So I'm going to scooch these off and slide them in here. Look at how efficient that is. I try to keep them all so I can see them. Unfortunately, they're all in the front and I've cut some of the circles because I wanted to play with them. So the spotlight in nature has a dear friend, a thanks, a tulip, some leaf butterfly and some little what I call like background embellishments. Okay. Put my phone on silent. So this is the Summer Splash and the Shy Shamrock. And I did this at camp and I used this pretty ribbon that's a carryover because I looked it up. This is one of the dies with the pretty embellishments that we also got. Um, we got a full package of in color cardstock, we got these embellishments, and then we got some um, of the twine. And then I popped up my little butterfly because he's cute. So there's that. Then with my team, I did this one. This is the embossing folder, a new embossing folder from the catalog. And then we colored it, splattered it, add the gems. And this is a new ribbon. It's beautiful. If you have a demonstrator, um, make sure you get a catalog. If you don't, let me know and I can um, get you a catalog when they come out. We won't get them till probably middle of April. And then this is the one I played with this morning where I added those hashtags and the dots. And this is pretty in pink. This is a petunia pop ribbon. And then I stamped those pretty tulips again, which I also stamped the background. So I want to do something similar to that only cut out the circles instead of the squares. So let's see what we can do here, friends. I have a piece of Whisper White. I couldn't decide whether I wanted to stamp first or cut first. I think I'm going to stamp and then cut it out so it's kind of like a little bit of a puzzle. Oh, I could even put another one in the center. Um, this is always brightening when you decide you're going to do something that you haven't done before on a video. But I'm going to be very brave and I'm going to do it. Maybe we'll even do that one too. All right, let's see. Let's do it, friends, and see what happens. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to do those cute little hashtags like I did in the polka dots before because I liked the way that came out. And here's my little, I just kind of twirled them around.
and added those so my now the front of my cardstock looks a little textured without running it through the embossing folder which I'm a huge embossing folder fan so that's always an option then I'm going to use a little bit of this peach pie if you didn't know I guess we're pie fans we don't have any cake stamp pads but we have three pie stamp pads there's no cookies either what the heck I'm going to scooch that over and I'm going to take my memento and do my pretty I guess you could call this a tulip it might be I mean I live in the woods there's lots of flowers right now my daffodils are gorgeous so I'm gonna put this eh, we're gonna put it up here then we cut them out we'll see how it ha what happens so I don't have I have the blends um, but I don't have all of the um, markers or the refills yet um, I'm a little behind I'm well we will say I'm behind not the delivery hasn't come yet how's that so I'm gonna color these by using the corner of my blender pen so I'm gonna put my blender pen right here on the corner and pull off some of that petunia and I'm gonna make it my darkest color here at the bottom and I don't need to really go back and get any more because I've pulled off a lot and you can tell now I'm going to take a little wipe and kind of brush this off a little bit kind of take some of that ink out see I had a lot of ink in there and a blender pen is very forgiving so it's going to take that out now I'm going to go a little lighter and add some of that pretty in pink still not I don't want to re-ink it yet I'm still going to do this like this and now I'm going to go back and pull in a little bit of that peach And again, because it's a blender pen, I can't, um, I don't want to get it to the paper too wet. And now you can see my pretty tulips. They're so much prettier in person. That's what I always hate. Um, I could have, if I would have had ink refill, I would have put it in the lid and I might watercolor. If I had all the other stuff, I might do something different, but I'm going with what I have. You know when you're ordering for the first time it's like do you want to get the refills or do you want to get as many stamp sets and inks as you can so i went with stamp sets ink pads instead of the um refills and but those will come all right i'm going to move those out of the way and i'm going to this is the Shy Shamrock, and I'm going to do the same thing with the leaves. It's a pretty bright green, so I may not re-ink for a while. It's going to stay on there, and I don't color the whole leaf. You know, I'll go around the outsides or... So I did all those leaves with just re-inking once, so you can see all that. Now, let's see if we've created beautifulness or not. I'm going to move these out of the way. I'll pull back one of the colors for the card base, but I still haven't decided what color. Sometimes I get a better idea of what I want once I've done with the card. I'm going to use my mini boss. I know that this fits. And I'm going to put my biggest one. So it kind of goes around. Let's see, I'm gonna make sure I get the tulips. Not that worried about the leaves. You know, this would be one of those cool things if I colored three of these and did them all just a smidge different when I layered it, that would be interesting. I love a good interesting card okay come on let's go through there we go
and I want to make sure that none of those overlapped. We don't want any of my dies to overlap because we don't want them dented or anything. Okay, let's see how we've done. You can be honest. Tell me what you think. My, my, I've been doing this long enough. My skin's pretty thick. Oh, well, maybe I want to keep this. Maybe I don't want to get rid of this. Let's see. So this one has a fun pattern. Let's get my little brush tool and clean these out. You know, this is when, um, sometimes I'll take a piece of our, um, like the adhesive sheet and lay it across the back. So when I'm done with this, okay. look at that. Okay, so we've got that one. Now let's see what this one does. Oh, it has some little confetti pieces too. I'm treating my um, mini boss. It doesn't know it yet, but I've ordered new plates. It's going to like them. Um... So I can pop all those out later. You don't need to see me pop those out. But let's lay this in here. Now, look at that. Again, the adhesive strips would stick it on right down. And it pulls out some of the holes. This one... I just did the hash marks. What do you think? So do I, let me zoom in. So do I leave it like this? Or do I take this away and just do that? I don't know. If I leave this, I can put a ribbon across the bottom. Let's see, now I have to make a decision on um, colored cardstock. Do I wanna do it on a shamrock? Just slide them on top. Do I wanna do it on the pretty in pink? Do I want to do it on the oh, petunia? Or I must I must have already used up my first pack of the peach pie. So let's put that on there. I didn't use the um, summer sky. We can hold it over here, but I don't know. Do you see why it's so hard to decide? I think I almost like the petunia best. All right, friends, let's do it. I'm gonna move my circles out of the way. I have my handy dandy trimmer. I think I'm going to go this way. We're going to mix it up, but I'm going to go this way so that it's four and a quarter. So on this one, I did tone on tone, but I did the embossing folder on a sheet that was just a little bit smaller. Do I want to do an embossing folder on this? I could do an embossing folder and do two colors. I could add this pretty in pink. If I'm going to do that, I'm going to cut it four by five and a quarter. Or I can keep it monochromatic. Oh, I had a piece there. 
So now I'm going to layer it this way. I don't know. I think I still think I like that color better. I don't think I'm going to layer that. But do I want to do this? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I've got it. I think I've got it. Okay, so one of the online exclusives is these fun patterned, like shorty embossing folders. So I know this is a shorty because it went through my um, mini boss. So I went ahead and ran it through this pretty floral pattern. We used this at camp this morning and no one complained. So now I've added a floral, like an eyelet pattern to the outside and to this middle piece. Okay. So now I'm going to Hold this, get my handy dandy, the Wonder Basement Bone Folder. I'm not, I really don't want it on just this. So I am going to go ahead and cut just a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to cut, I don't want the pretty, um, pretty in pink. I want the petunia pop layered. So I'm going to go ahead and cut me a four and a quarter or a five and a quarter by four. Cause I do want that layered. Even if I'm not going to texture it, sometimes I just like it layered. I like the way the card looks. All right, friends, are you ready to do some assembly required with me? I will decide on ribbons and embellishments in a minute. You'll have to help me. Okay, so I'm going to use my seal. I'm going to zoom this out a second here because I feel like it's too close. It's too close. Okay, so I've got my seal. I'm going to put the petunia pop on the petunia pop. And I just like it. I would like it better if it was straight. Okay. Then I'm going to take this piece. And that one's going to go on there. And I think I want to put a ribbon across the bottom. This is a ribbon duo. It's not written on and I can't remember. So I don't know whether I want that color across the bottom or this color. I mean, that's a hard call. I think I'm going to go with the petunia because I'm, I think I'm going to go with it. It's hard. So I'm going to put this on, I'm going to tie this on and I always tie on the bolt. That way I never waste a ribbon. like four pair of snips on my desk. If I turned this camera a little bit this way so you could see everything, you would either say that looks like my desk or you would be horrified. I mean, it's borderline either way. So I'm gonna take my dimensionals now and hit the corners of this. Because I wanna raise this up. I mean, I really put it all right here so I could find it while I was doing the video. And because I, as I used something, I've put it on top of stuff. I mean, 
<sighs> right. We could wear ourselves out. We don't need anybody else to do it. Sometimes we can do it all by ourselves. Okay. I like the new in colors. I had camp today and my campers were um, all happy stampers. Okay. So I've raised that up. Can you see? That's a little raised up from the card with those dimensionals. Now I'm going to put this one on. And I think I, I'm going to put it on with some glue dots because I want it a little bit closer. I want this to be um, graduated heights. So I'm going to put some glue dots on this one. Sorry, you have to watch me glue dot. So now I'm going to line it up with those images, like my little puzzle pieces, and I'm going to lay that right in there. I like it. I want to make sure this kind of stays up, so I'm going to, there, that's what I want. So now I've got that one in and I like it. I may tuck one more right under here. And yes, that's my dog scratching. And I have a glue duct stuck to the top of my finger. So this one, I think I want, I was gonna alternate but I'm pretty sure I want this one popped up. So let's see if I can put a little seal on this one instead of a glue dot. This would have been really smart if I would have put the adhesive strips on it. I'm just telling you. Um, but when you create live, you never know. Okay, I love it. I'm going to pop this one up. Dang, I like it. Okay, so here it is. Can you see those layers? See how some's raised up and some's flat? It's so interesting. What I don't like is I can see my seal and glue dots through the holes. So again, when I do this for an event or camp or when you do it, um, put those adhesive sheets on the back. Now I need to add these. These are gonna be um, a few of my favorite things, right? They're so pretty. And they fit perfectly in this little floral pattern. Uh, I think I'm gonna add some of these because I can. Even though this color is not on the card, I use this color. I really like this um, Summer Splash. I will get the color names down eventually. I mean, they're brand new to all of us. I can't expect miracles. Okay, friends, I got to stop. I'll use the whole sheet. So what do you think? Look at that. So again, I've done this card with um, this and this card and this card. I'm gonna put this on it because of this fold, it's gonna raise up. And this one, all just a little bit different, but so pretty. It's a really easy stamp set to work with. Um, some are easier than others. Some I talk to myself a lot before I get it the way I like it, but I'm happy. All right, friends, thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great day. Bye.